Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make these videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you would like to know more about my patterns, please check in the description below and there you will find a link to my Ravelry page where you will be able to browse through all the uh, patterns I have available currently for uh, download as individual patterns. And if you want to knit one of them up, I'd love to hear about it. I have a Facebook group. If you check in the description below, there's a link to that where you can come and chat with me and continue the conversation about what we're doing here. Now, what I'm doing right now is talking about all of the patterns in my new book. I have written a book, it's called Mosaic and Lace. And what it is, is that it's exploring a technique that I've developed where I've taken slip stitch color work lace and combined it, slip stitch color work, and combined it with lace. That allows me to have color work lace, which I've always wanted. I don't know about you, maybe I'm crazy. The great thing is by using slip stitches, you're only working with one strand of yarn at a time. There's no carrying yarn across a row, so there's no stranding, so there's no floats to get in the way of how your lace looks. And there's no yarn management except for carrying it up the side, so it actually is sort of a simplified uh, knitting technique. And the lace helps the mosaic because mosaic, because of all the slip stitches, tends to be a little bit tight and the lace allows it to loosen up. So I'm making a, pat a, a pattern tour video for every one of my videos and I'm releasing it over the next couple weeks. So the book is actually available on March 31st, 2017. If it is past that date, then it's already ready and you can check into the description below and find a link to it on Amazon. But as always, uh, if you have a favorite local yarn store, I really encourage you to go and check there and see if they are carrying the book. Today, uh, my first pattern I'm going to show you is this one right here. It is a scarf. The name of it is Cloupier Dye, uh, I think. I had to look up how to pronounce it. Sometimes it's hard to name things and you go on Ravelry and you're trying to find a pattern that name that hasn't already been used. So I spent a good bit of time looking at pictures and somehow I ended up looking at fish and I found a fish that I thought the scale pattern looked like the pattern that I had developed here. It was a type of mackerel and mackerels are in the family Cloupier dye. <laughs> So that's where I ended up. And I thought it was a pretty name. I mean, almost everything is pretty in Latin, isn't it? So this scarf is in Barocco Ultra Apaca Light, which is a sport weight yarn. It is 50% alpaca and 50% wool. And this took two skeins. And the colors are Caribbean mix and seedling mix, which I actually think kind of the, the Caribbean goes with the fish kind of concept. I know it's ridiculous, but you gotta come up with a name somehow. Now, one of the wonderful things about the mosaic is that it allows me to do things that I can't, it's more challenging. It's easy to knit horizontal stripes. You're just going along and you knit them. And as you can see, the back of this is horizontal stripes. And actually, there we go. It looks kind of cool on the back, doesn't it? What I think is neat is how, let me pull, drop this one, the, this, the long vertical, has like a 3D effect because it kind of sticks out. I like it. Now close up on the other side, you can see how the slip stitches interact here with the decreases. And so we have a vertical and this is one of the things I really enjoy doing with the mosaic is it enables you to have vertical stripes down the length of your knitting. And the lace, normally when you do that, it really pulls in and the lace gives it flexibility. Now, Lupia dye. I'm trying to remember how to pronounce it. Now I have called this a self-styling scarf. One of the really popular ways and fun ways to wear a scarf is you take your big long scarf and you fold it in half and then you take the ends and tuck it through the loop you've made. Now the problem I have with that is when you do that one of your tails the right side is showing and if the back tail flips out you get wrong side. And who wants to look at the wrong side? 
So then my solution to that is the self-styling scarf. And what I've done is, whoop, look. See, there's a loop. What you do is you start at the bottom and that also allows you to have this really nice scallop. And I think it's only a four row repeat. So you just knit, 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 right? And then the repeat is very obvious. It's this with the line. So you can make it wider if you want. And you knit it until it's the length you want. And I tell you what length to do it in the book. And then you transfer that to waist yarn, right? And set it aside. And then you cast on and you do the same thing all over again. Now I did them slightly different lengths. So it really emphasizes the idea that you've tucked it. See how they're slightly different? You could make that a longer or make them exactly the same length or make them a little bit further apart to, to make more of a, a waterfall effect. And once you've knit up to the length you want, you then take the piece you set aside and stick it on your needle. And then you hold your needle that has the other one and you put them together so that the right sides are facing the same direction. So both right sides are facing the right direction and both wrong sides are facing the same direction. And then you simply work across working the two stitches that are parallel together. So it comes together and then you continue to work in the same pattern once you've joined and then you bring it around and when you're done you just seam it together and I really I just did a whip stitch as you can see it's not the most attractive thing in the world but it's the wrong side and nobody's ever gonna see it because what you do for your self styling scarf is you bring it around let me make sure I'm doing it I'm watching myself in the thing so you bring it around right so you have both right sides and then you simply reach through, grab it, and there you go. Right sides, both right sides are facing out. You don't have to fuss with making sure your uh, ends are the right length. They're just there and they're ready to rock and roll and you are styling. I'll show you the back. See, it comes up on your neck. It's a double layer, so it's gonna keep your super warm, and especially with the alpaca wool blend, it's gonna be crazy warm. I wish I was taller so you could see the whole thing. <laughs> I'm not the tallest person in the world. But this is Clupia dye. This is the scarf, and again, it's in Barocco Ultra Alpaca, and it's super duper soft, and it comes in a lot of colors, so if these aren't exactly your thing, you can always try a different combination. You just wanna make sure they have good contrast. So. This is, there are four scarves in the book in total. So keep a watch out over the next few weeks and you will be seeing more. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, click that like button. And if you would like to be reminded whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and click notifications. Thank you so much.